Hello, welcome to any community. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the context of the Vikara Vikhata Bhava as mentioned in Prameha Nidana of Charaka Samhita. When you think about the term Vikara Vikhata Bhava Bhava, it comprises of four terms. Vikara, Vikhata, Bhava and Abhava. When you discuss about this, the description available in uh, uh, Charaka Nidana, fourth chapter, fourth shloka, it goes like this. Iha Khalu Nidana Dosha Dusha Visheshebhyo Vikara, Vikhata, Bhava, Abhava, Prati Vishesha Bhavanti. ಅಭಿನಿರ್ವೃತ್ತಿಪರೀತಾಖಾತ ಪ್ರತಿಶೇಷ ಅಭಿನಿರ್ವೃತ್ತಿ ಹೇತು ಉಕ್ತ ಸೊ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಕಾರ ವಿಕಾತ ಭಾವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಭಾವ ದ ಆರ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬೈ ನಿಧಾನ ದೋಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದುಷ್ಯ ಸೊ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ನಿಧಾನ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಕಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಹೇತು ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಜನಕ ಹೇತು ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದೋಷ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಶಾರೀರಿಕ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾನಸಿಕ ದೋಷ ಶಾರೀರಿಕ ದೋಷ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಫ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾನಸಿಕ ದೋಷ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ರಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ and dushya refers to the dhatu and mala rasa rakta mamsa meda asthi majja and shukra these are the dhatu they are being categorized as dushya plus the chakra mutra and sveda etc these are the uh, dushya from the point of the mala aspect as they are going to get vitiated by the dosha dosha that is vata pitta and kapha hence they are being termed as dosha when you think about the nidana specifically they are considered to be the bahya nidana as such so vata dosha are having the bahya nidana that is vyayama dapatarpana trapatana dhanga dkshaya jagara dveganam cha vidharana ಅತಿಶುಚ ಶೈತ್ಯಾದಿತ್ರಾಸಕ್ಷೋಭಕಟುಕೈರೇವಿ ಪ್ರಕೋಪಂ ವ್ರಜೆ ವಾಯು ವಾರಿಧರಾಗಮೆ ಪರಿಣತೆ ಚಾನ್ಯ ಅಪರಾಹ್ನೆ ಅಪಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಕೋಪಕ ನಿಧಾನ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಕಟ್ವಂ ಲೋಷ್ಣ ವಿಧಾಹಿ ತಿಷ್ಣ ಲವಣ ಕ್ರೋಧೋಪವಾಸ ತಪಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಸಂಪರ್ಕ ತಿಲಾತಸೈ ದಧಿ ಸುರಾಶುಕ್ತಾರಣಾಲಿ ಭುಕ್ತೆ ಜೀರ್ಯತೆ ಭೋಜನೆ ಚ ಶರದ ಗ್ರೀಷ್ಮ ಸತಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನಿತ್ತ ಅರ್ಧರಾತ್ರಿ ಸಮಯ ಪಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಕೋಪಂ ಪ್ರಜೆ as far as uh, kapha dosha prakopaka karana are concerned guru madura sati dikta dukthekshu vakshit dravadadi dina nidra upa sarpish prabhu raihi tuhina patana kale shleshmana samprakopah prabhavati divasadav bhukta matre vasante when these nidana from there there will be the vishayashin of the dosha which in turn responsible for the affliction of the dushya if they are aligning with uh, one another then there will be the rapid manifestation of the disease as such if they are not aligning with uh, within themselves then there will be the mild uh, form of the diseases that can occur because of the poor roga bala so that is the ಅನಾ ತಥ ವಿಕಾರ ಅಭಿನಿರ್ವೃತ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಿ
if at all they are going to get manifested they are going to get manifest at a much later amount of time or otherwise there may be a possibility of mild formation of the disease or mild manifestation of disease or otherwise there may be the possibility of incomplete clinical features which are mentioned in the text all the features that are mentioned in the textbooks they are not going to get manifested in an individual these are the possibilities of a, what do you say that the uh, variations in the disease manifestations because of the uh, di- the difference in the potency of a nidana dosha and dushya now we are going to learn what actually so these uh, four terms are vikara vikhata bhava and abhava when you think about this <coughs> charaka samita says vikaro dhatu vaishamyam samyam prakriti ruchyate sukha samyakam arogyam vikaro dukham eva cha so that is if there is any imbalance is happening in the dosha or dhatu so that is considered to be vikar or disease so if there is any kind of the rasakshaya is happening inside the body that can be considered as vikara itself maybe because of less fluid intake or maybe because of more amount of the fluid loss from the body either through the sweat etc that is considered to be the vikara itself whereas samyam prakriti ruchyate if the person is having the set production up to 400 ml in 24 hours that is considered to be samata if that is uh, if the amount is exceeding that then we are going to say it could be vikrati itself if the person is uh, passing the urine up to 1.2 to 1.5 liters in 24 hours that is considered to be samya or prakriti itself if that is happening more than that 2 liters or 2.5 liters as such maybe the person is going to have the frequency more than 7 to 8 times in 24 hours or if the frequency is increased at night time even twice or thrice after getting sleep that is considered to be vikara if the person is having the uh, poor mo- bubble movements if he is passing the bubbles after a matter of 5 days as such that is indicative of mahata dosha prakopa that is a vikara or roga as such if these are being absent in an individual that is considered to be arogata or health arogya as such <coughs> now vighata what is the word meaning of vighata vighata means utpatti pratibandhasya so that is vighata in the sense vikara vighata so that is vikara vikhata in the sense utpatti pratibandhasya so that is the ability to sustain the uh, strength to sustain from the uh, disease causing organism or disease causing pathogen so utpatti pratibandhasya so that means that is the resistance power so vikarana vighatasya utpatti pratibandhasya bhavo vighata bhava if they are present in an individual that is considered as vikara vighata bhava whereas if they are absent that is been termed as vikara vighatasya abhava wherever there is vikara vighatasya bhava is present the person will not be suffering from any kind of the disease as such if there is absence of vikara vighata bhava that will be responsible for the manifestation of various kinds of the diseases so when you think about these nidana dosha and dushya if they are going to align in such a way that that uh aligning them and the alignment of these happening among each other that will be responsible for the manifestation of the disease in the short possible amount of time for example if the person is doing the diva swapna so that means the sleeping during the day time after lunch having a nap that is considered to be responsible for the increase of the kapha dosha in the body 
In due course of time, there may be a possibility of affliction of Rasa, Mamsa, Medha, Majja, Shukra, Mutra, and Purish. In due course of time, there may be a possibility of affliction of that. Because the Kapha Dosha is having a relation with all these Dhatu and Mala. If they are non alignment of these three factors are happening then navikara abhinirvrittihi there will not be any manifestation of the disease chirad vikara nivrittihi nirvrittihi there will be delayed manifestation of the disease tanu vikara tanu vikriti nirvritti in the sense there will be the very mild form of the disease manifestation ayathokta lakshana utpatti that means as mentioned in the text, the lakshanas in an individual due to that particular abnormal dysfunctioning of dosha, dhatu and mala, they are not going to get manifested in the particular individual. This is all because of a vighata bhava, presence in the body. So that is what we can say, the presence of resistance power against that particular disease causing pathogen. Let us learn with one or two examples. <clears throat> so here there are two images are there. One image that is specifically showing the food as such. Whereas the other image that is showing the activity. Where in the first image, whenever we think about it, is a person is going to consume that particular food substance. So that means the exposure of this particular nidana will be into the oral cavity or asya. So that means the effect of this will be specifically observed in the elementary canal only at the beginning. Whereas the other image where the person is doing the cycling, so that too in the hot uh, sunny environment, so that is an indicative of the increase of the Ushnaguna there. So, but here the increase of Ushnaguna will be there throughout the body. In the initially, Ushnaguna exposure will be present only in the uh, oral cavity. The second instance, there will be the Ushnaguna exposure that can be observed all over the body simultaneously. So Initially, Asya is the uh, exposure, uh, Asya is the Bahya Srotas that is going to get exposed to the Ushnaguna as such, whereas in the another side, it is the Tvak that is going to get exposed as such. As far as uh, uh, the Nidana Dosha Dusha analysis are concerned, Ushnaguna exposure in both the occasions. Whereas, as far as the dosha affliction are concerned, pitta dosha vitiation is going to get observed in the elementary canal in the first instance where the person is going to take that particular food substance orally. Whereas, the second image, the pitta dosha vitiation will be observed all over the body due to the increase of ushnaguna towards the tocha. As far as dosha involved, that could be Rakta and Sveda affliction. So, as far as uh, the vitiation of the Vata Dosha is concerned, there may be a possibility of vitiation of the Vata Dosha to a lesser extent because the Katu Rasa is having the uh, tendency to vitiate the Vata Dosha also. Textbook says the Tatradya Martam Nanti Trestikta de Hakapam, Kashaitikta Mathuraha Pittam Anyeta Gurvade, Ashtanga Hrudaya, wherein the Katurasa is responsible for the increase of the Vata as well as Pitta Dosha. Let us look into the another example, the Shita Guna. In the first instance, that uh, the person is going to consume that particular 
cold drain wherein the effect will be locally that too effect will be observed in the elementary canal first whereas the second instance where the person is residing in an ac room this particular shita guna exposure will be observed all over the body suddenly it is just what the similar example of a previous one wherein the shita guna exposure will be there to the elementary canal whereas the another example shita guna exposure will be there throughout the body so the nidana here in this particular location that will be shita guna in both the locations dosha vishayashan will be observed that is the vata dosha vishayashan as far as dusha affliction there may be in the first instance there may be a possibility of rasa dosha rasa dhatu affliction whereas in the second instance there may be a possibility of mamsa dhatu affliction to summarize the degree of nidana exposure determines the extent of the affliction of body part or dosha afflicted or dhatu involvement so to uh, learn this in a little bit uh, better way so this particular statement we need to know about these three uh, following statements the first one the number of entry of nidana or pathogen into the body so that means if the pathogens are entering through the one source one by his rotus that will be responsible for the mild disease manifestation or if the pathogens are entering through two by his rotus or two rotuses there may be a possibility of a little bit uh, severe form of the disease manifestation may take place or if the pathogens are entering through three or four or more rotuses then there may be a possibility of a the severe form of the disease manifestation the next one that is the amount of the nidana exposure at a particular time so that is if the pathogens are entering into the body is in large amounts then there may be a possibility of a severe disease manifestation if the pathogens are entering into the body is of a small small amount then there may be a possibility of a mild disease manifestation the third important factor which determines the uh, disease manifestation in the body that is virulence of the nidana at a particular time if the virulence is more potent then there will be the severe manifestation of the disease and if the virulence is much lesser then there will be mild disease manifestation so that's how we can able to learn about the nidana dosha dusya vikara vikhata bhava and abhava concept in this particular manner how that is responsible for the varying manifestations of the disease in the body the sort for today what are the major key takeaways from today's discussion mention in the comment box below and what is the one body that you like to hear in the coming days in this particular channel mention in the comment box below and spread this particular video to maximum number of true nidana learners so that we can make a huge movement out of this particular small message that's all for today something more in the next video thank you